Hello, Filmmaker here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Lorelei. Like it, I can now go uh, past the building. Nice job, Lorelei. You know me? Who are you? The name's Jimmy. Jimmy the Traveler. And now that you've opened the way, there is one place I'd like to show you. We can talk as we go. It's quite a trek, but it's worth it. And before you ask, yes, you can trust me. That's what that old hag said, too. Oh, she says a lot of things, but believe me, I am no friend of hers. That still doesn't make you a friend of mine. Sure, but what if I told you I found a way to destroy her? To end this nightmare once and for all and send us both back to the real world? Then I'd listen to you very carefully. Let's go then. It'll get dark soon. You don't um trust you, by the way, it has to be said. You want to tell me something about yourself? I mean, Jimmy the Traveler doesn't quite explain why you're here with me. In the afterlife. I... I travel in my sleep. Always have. What? Look, it used to be fun. I went to different places every night. At first, I thought they were just dreams. Not real. But no. My body stayed in bed. But my mind, my spirit, or whatever, they were set free. In my sleep, I was a ghost. Everything I saw happened somewhere, to someone. Then one night, I traveled here. And I can't wake up since. So, if you're the good guy, and she's evil, then why did she bring me back to life? Because, you know, that was kinda awesome. It's all part of the game she's playing. She knew you'd die again, and that you will have no choice but to do what she asks. And trust me, Everything she does comes with a price. Anyway, I don't want to try to convince you. You'll know when you see the real her. Yeah, maybe. But when will I see the real you? The real me? Well, he's fast asleep in bed. Back in the real world. And if he doesn't wake up anytime soon, He'll most certainly die. Uh, to be fair, that uh, woman who who died um, did tell us not to make a deal 
um, from uh, with the devil, and um, from what I know in the other games, yeah, there is always a price. Although Lorelei hasn't played the other games, obviously. So, where are we going? The tunnel. That's where the devil came from. Devil? You mean the Queen of Maggots? If you prefer. She has many names. But names are just names. They don't really matter. Says Jimmy the Traveler. Fair enough, Laura. Hey, I'm not the one who said names don't matter. Okay, perhaps they do. A bit. What's in the tunnel? That's where the real Queen of Maggots is, and has been since the dawn of time. The old woman is just a puppet. And her little house by the field? Not real. It felt very real to me. Sure. But trust me, it's just a dream within a dream. What other names does she have? People that come through here always want to know. And every time she gives a different answer, Actually, it's funny, but I even heard her using the name Lorelei once. That real queen of maggots, what's she like? You'll see soon enough. I'm not really sure if I want to. No, nobody wants to. But now that you're here, this is your only chance to win her wicked little game. How? By killing her. Once and for all. I could have sworn we've gone past this background before. I recognize that train car. Hmm. To be honest, I'm perfectly happy with killing her, but... Hmm. I'm not sure Lorelai would be. She still doesn't really know. Um. Huh. I don't want to kill her. She's kind of nice. Made me a meal when I was hungry. I know, Lorelai. But you have to realize that she only did that to gain your trust. She is not human. And if you don't do this now, she will take away all humanity you've got left in you, too. But killing her? How can we even do this? I made a bomb. A bomb? Yeah. It's weak to fire. Oh, I don't know, Jimmy. Not a big fan of bombs. What if I say no? Then you will forever be her slave. Just like others before you. We are here. Take this with you. Here's the bomb and a lighter to light the fuse. Wait, are you not going in with me? No, I wish I could, but I am not allowed to enter the tunnel. Why not? She'd sniff me out in an instant. I'm not dead like you. I'm only sleeping. Hmm, well, that's convenient. Alright. I have to say though, this is a really good looking game. Yeah, 
get the hobble feeling, I'm going to be hit by a train any second now. This rock could be useful. I wonder what it does. Uh, I suspect it opens that door. But I'm not 100% certain, and just in case it kills us, I'm reluctant to do anything with it right now. I'm sure that if I need to do something, there'll be something like this blocking my way. The tunnel is blocked with a pile of bricks and rusty metal parts. There's something on the other side of the wall. I can hear noises coming from behind it. I wish I was strong enough to push it down, but I'm not. All right. That's not it. I mean, I could try to blow up this wall, but that would mean not being able to blow up the Queen of Maggots, presumably. I'm probably going to regret this. Nope. Don't. I am going to regret this. Oh, fuck it. I'll find another way to blow up Queen of Maggots. Now I light the fuse. more than one way to light the fuse, isn't there? That's not going to work. <laughs> Might be a good idea to stand well back. won't be useful elsewhere. Ah, uh, that gas station doesn't look too so friendly. The middle part has fallen off. It's the missing part of the machinery. I didn't have to look far from what... Yeah. It does kind of look like black tentacles, but I can see why it would stop the, yeah, uh, why not? I can see why it would, uh, Even if it works, I can't drive it without a key. This one doesn't look completely broken. 
maybe I could drive it? Did it fall out of the ambulance? It's of no use to me. Locked. It's blocking the tunnel exit. Right, let's see what we've got here. That's not it. Hmm. Nope. There's something up there. But what is it? I can't reach. I've got my head. <laughs> it's my severed head. Of course. What else could it be? Maybe I can start one of these cars with it? That car isn't going anywhere now. Um, oh, that's interesting. That probably leads back to Queen of Maggot's house or whatever she really is. Assuming that guy was telling the, the truth. The Queen of Maggots. It doesn't seem to notice me. Maybe it's blind. This monster. Could it really be the Queen of Maggots actually? If I destroy this thing, will everything go back to the world? Actually, I don't think I have anything that I can, That's not gonna work. I can use against a bat. I can. Oh, I can't. No, my life. Okay, great, here again. Looks comfy enough. Hard to sleep with all these mannequins staring. Yeah. Lorelei. Yes, of course you want me to go Come down there. Come down here, would you? She's gonna get mad if she catches me oh. fiddling with this door. I should try again later. The prodigal daughter returns. What took you so long? I'm not your daughter. But, my dear Lorelei, 
Didn't I feed you when you were hungry? Didn't I give you a roof over your head when you had nowhere to go? Didn't I give you a life when all you craved for was revenge? I never asked for any of this. And yet, you took it all. There was no and possible way I could it. have known. I got tricked. Really? By that drunk lowlife? That miserable failure of a man? You let him outsmart you? Well, I think you need to try this a little harder. This is a pretty poor attempt to manipulate me, to be honest. I met this guy. He says his name is Jimmy the Traveler. Oh yes, I've been meaning to take care of that culprit for a while. He has no business being here. He seems nice. That troublemaker has been lurking around for far too long. You didn't fall for his lies, did you? No, I have other things on my mind. Back in the real world. Alright, well, it seems like the game wants me to agree to do this, so... Um... Next time, I'll make sure he stays dead. Well, if you don't, who will? Not Officer Manley, that's for sure. Yes, you can only ever rely on yourself. It's simple. If you want John to pay for his sins, you have to kill him with your own hands. Give me another chance. I won't waste it this time. Yes. But I did say another chance would not come free. I'd like you to play a game. I've been playing it for a long time myself. It's most entertaining. Well, as long as you put yourself in the right mind frame. But it'll be a good lesson for you. That life requires sacrifices. Okay. I like games. But first I want you to understand what's at stake. See all these candles? They're human lives. All's fine, as long as they're lit. But around here, sometimes it takes the lightest of drafts to put them out. Now, these three here... They're special. The first one burns for little Bethany, innocent and helpless. The middle one's for Zack, your goofy boyfriend to be. And finally, you, Lorelei. Your flame's gone, of course, but we can make it burn again. We've done it once already. And let me guess. You want me to fetch something for you again? No, the price has gone up, dear. I told you it would. The task I have for you will be considerably harder this time. See all these unlit candles on the table? Well, this is a good time to run the episode. I will see you next time.